Chapter 11 The Essence of True Humility When Kisahel heard that Abadam thus exalted him, he gave Abadam a melancholy look and tried to say something. But Abadam anticipated him, saying, Kisahel, I have already read in your heart what you want to say and ask me about. You want to remain the least. You do not want to be a leader to the others, but rather want to be led by them. This is your endeavour, namely, to be ruled by others rather than rule them. You would, by far, prefer to obey rather than give rules to the others. You would prefer to be the last rather than the first of my servants. And you want to be the strongest, so as to serve all. But at the same time, you want to be the weakest, so as not to be privileged before the others. Behold, Only now do I fully commend you. You have become to me a most worthy man. This is the greatest thing. Whoever wants to be the last and the least is with me the greatest. For only true humility makes you truly great before me. Because you are truly and thoroughly humble, and in your great love for me, want to be the very least in everything before your brothers and children, and, not having scorned the splendid word of Sethlehem in your heart, have enlivened it in you through your activated love for me. Behold, this is why you are truly the first of all the chosen. For they do not need a leader in wisdom, being sufficiently endowed with it. They do not lead a leader in love, for they all know me and have sufficient heart to love me above all. They do not need a leader in strength, for they have received it just like you have. They do not need a leader in might, for I gave none a lesser share of it. Also, they do not need a leader in authority, for each of you has received from me a just share. And they do not need a leader in my grace, for you have all been chosen by me for one and the same purpose. But they do need a leader in constant humility, For everyone can receive from me everything and can take out of my endless supply as much as he wants. He can love as much as he wishes. He can, according to his wish, strengthen himself through faith so that he will easily move mountains with his will. He can make his will so powerful that thousands upon thousands have to follow his word. He can acquire such a falsefulness of speech that everyone will have to obey him blindly. However, this is not the case with humility, for it is every human being's own property. This I can and must give to nobody, but as you are just now hearing from me, Only teach and wish for. This is the field where I want to harvest without having sown the seed into the soil. Humility is the only thing which you can give me without having it actually received from me beforehand.
the actual, supreme freedom of life and, thus, the greatest perfection of the same, consist in true humility. Through humility, you can even approach in me the inviolable holiness of my deity. Indeed, true humility is man's highest wisdom, the greatest love and the greatest power of all life, the might and omnipotence before which the whole of infinity reverberates in awe. Humility is the innermost supreme strength, might and power within my being. All that fills the whole of infinity was generated through humility and has issued from it. Do you now understand, my beloved Kisahel, why I have called you to be the leader of the others? Behold, because you are truly, wholeheartedly, and completely humble. But this is also what is more or less lacking in all your fellow chosen. Unless this supreme power in you is by far predominant over everything else, everything wholly given you by me can be perverted into perdition instead of blessing in the absence of true humility. With you, however, it is now the by far predominant trait in your life. Therefore, you shall, and here I even tell you, you must be for them all a guiding example and a living rule to follow if they want to be a blessing to the earth wherever it is so mightily oppressed by the ancient curse of the proud and false serpent. But to you all, I say, follow without delay the example of Kisahel. Otherwise you will bring even greater ruin instead of blessing to the place of your calling. Ponder over these my words, and do accordingly, or you will fall, and that which you are meant to bless with you. Listen and grasp it well. Amen. <laughs>